Thank you very much. Um, and I'd like to now invite Alison, Alison Wedge, to come back to the stage. These poems in, in this house are all about relationships with my family and then also uh, with lovers. So I'm going to get all the sex poems out of the way so I don't start saying sodomizing in my place. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is about meeting someone at work, I'm a teacher. Behind the bike sheds. We swipe into an April afternoon in Hendon. Is it grey winces in Nimbus? And I entangle the meetings, the screens and corridors that plan out your mind. As you light a roll up, we pretend to be colleagues, marching the drizzle of London plains. Before clocking a dell of bluebells, their plastic bottles belly a stream. And it's here, in electric green, that we unzip our teacher faces and reap the campus detritus in a ragged squalor of tenderness. Uh, this is called Fetish Club. He wears sackcloth trousers and a noose, rides the 29 to Camden to be gagged by the leather gloved hands of a woman in spandex who teases trust from a stranger's surrender. This he reveals as we kiss on a bench transfixed at the Thames, crowd and alluvial smell composing the dermis of our dating bubble. But I've only known him in suits, eyes racked with screen, screens and cling filmed panini. I could slacken the knots in his neck, put out his skin in a stroke. Mm -hmm. This is about having a difficult conversation in a, in a pub within the context of a relationship and I felt like he was baking bread in my chest. <laughs> It's called, You Bake Bread in My Chest. We sit over pints of London pride, letting the yeast breathe. And then you knead my solar plexus with questions. It feels like you're baking bread in my chest, pounding away at my internal organs until it is difficult to breathe or know myself. Then, when you butter the base of a long tin and shelves the dough between my ribs, it rises above my liver and spleen. Dusted with flour, it toasts a golden crust, a tender crumb. We break it in the street's brilliance. Pigeon, lilac, zebra crossing, everything tears a piece of me. Um, this is the final one from this section um, of relationships. Trouble. Trouble this flesh against the tobacco fruit of your lip. Still sweet with the syrup blister of yamasaki. Demand and relent the bed's length with a perseverance that steers us. The porcelain blaze of your eyes is wet with love as we square up to dark and win. At eight, we run at a clean city, rinsing itself in April. O oh, Kingsland Road, O oh, Boss. Um, my, my brother was a, is a soldier and he was fighting in Basra. And so, as the time when he was out there, I was on anti war demonstrations, and then there's all kinds of things with my family, so I had to confront a lot of issues of um, unconditional love, I suppose, that, that I could have to my brother, even though I really disagreed with what he was doing for so many reasons. And this poem is about um, some photographs that he showed me of his time when he was there. And it's called Photographs. Your shadow has no head. Solid at the feet, it breaks the chest and cements in the cracks of the Shat Al Arab Hotel. I can't see your hazel eyes or read your dog tag. I don't know your blood group or army name. 
I wouldn't be able to identify you. Date palms, the Tigris and Euphrates, eye sockets of empty buildings, the dusty rinse of a hot sky. Bare torso, a can of Fosters, you're submerged, grinning in the stillness of a water tank. I can see your tattoos, the England flag inked when you were 17, a Celtic cross on your right arm, Arabic script carved on the skin of your back. You posing with an A2 rifle, you on a snatch, you backgrounded with fake tits, you jogging on tarmac, you in goggles, you walking away from the camera. Um, this is also about my brother and it's also about my mum, she's French and this is uh, written on Christmas Eve and she gets a lot of uh, presents from her family out there. Christmas Eve. On the edge of the kitchen table, scumbled with candy, ginger, creme de mohon, and the parcel from a house that spills with walnuts. Mum's hands pause, palms up, as she flies the grace from her wrists. I crack nuts, struck by yellow roses that flower in Haringey's front yards, while my brother frowns at a Somali video that explains in Danish how to blow up a car. In the gap between a rose and a walnut, he crows, the instructions are wrong, points to the man's hands, six missing fingers. Um, I've been uh, caring for my gran for the past two years and She's in, she's in hospital now and I'm moving out and we, we've, uh, she was living near Kew Gardens and so my, my relationship with her is kind of bound up with, with the gardens and this poem kind of meshes these two experiences together and it's called Scenes in a Botanic Garden. The cold is broken open and the source of magnolia at the end of the hole is in an ancient bloom. We are more standing than walking to the bathroom, and my nan drowns at the crook of my arm as we release to the texture of carpet and feet. The tree is leafless in a distant land, its sepals are silk light bulbs. Incontinence pads dot our flat like fallen bracts. Red flowers spill from their pegs on the pocket handkerchief tree. The clouds relieve themselves over the pagoda, mm. and sun falls through branches of a tropical redwood. Yellow puddles on Lelonia. Have got time for one more? Yeah, absolutely. All right, so I'll finish on a more cheery note. Um, Paul Muldoon's uh, written a uh, gazelle with, and he has uses the frame, rib frame between her legs. So I decided to write one uh, between my legs. And it's called Drapadi goes on a Greek holiday. And Drapadi is um, a figure from the Mahabharata and she had five husbands at the same time and they were all brothers. So this is Drapadi goes on a Greek holiday and it's after Paul Muldoon. In our rented Yaris, Pete cops the feel between my legs. Elvis pelvis hips and a steering wheel between my legs. Nick's soft on Uzo and Slovaki. El fresco, he knocks up a meal between my legs. Athlete Chris has scabs on his knees and jealous groupies. He bleeds as he tries to kneel between my legs. Jack's flat is squeezed with planks and vodka. His paintbrush strokes the wheel between my legs. We spit cherry stones at the Aegean Sea, a sure salty lip, and kneel between my legs. Tonight I conjure the unreal between my legs. All Drapadi's husbands will reveal between my legs.
And that was that was 